Hi there, Melissa from melissavsfarmagia.com here and we've got a bit of a question here. So we do questions about yoga all the time and this is yoga versus Pilates. What is better for fibromyalgia? Is one of them better? Which one do I prefer? And let's break it down a little bit. So as you know, um, if you have followed my channel for any amount of time, I am a big fan of yoga for fibromyalgia. So much so that when I was continually struggling to find yoga that suited me and my body and my symptoms and yoga that I could suggest to you through my blog and through this channel, I was just getting so frustrated, could not come up with something suitable. And I got so tired of clicking into something that was apparently for us and then just getting so frustrated um, that it didn't work for us or ending up in pain because I tried so hard to just do it. Um, and the thing is, it's become my mission now um, to share what yoga is because most of what we think it is is a myth. But in terms of exercise, we all know that um, gentle exercise is good for everybody. Uh, I imagine most of us have been told by doctors and medical professionals that we should be moving, that we should be exercising. We have been really hit hard by some professionals who may have kind of pushed us to the point where we have actually intensified our symptoms through exercise. So there's a lot of mistrust. Um, and a, this is it's a big topic, exercise with chronic illness and with fibromyalgia and with chronic fatigue and chronic pain. So let's just clarify straight away, I'm talking about yoga and Pilates um, in a suitable manner. I'm not talking about um, trying to be a gold medalist in the Olympics for these things. And when you just put yoga and Pilates next to each other, um, they're both gentle exercise. They um, both have kind of levels, beginner, intermediate, advanced. So in yoga, we don't really talk about beginner, intermediate, advanced. I know that that's often done um, in terms of getting it across so that people understand uh, whether or not they can do a class. I like to think of it as progressions and certain poses have you know, a wide range of how they can be done. Um, and some of them might be more advanced um, than others, but that's kind of not really how you approach yoga. But I believe they both can be useful and they both have their place. I would choose yoga every time simply because of the um, manner of being able to make it accessible. Uh, I have been able to successfully practice yoga through um, four pregnancies. Whereas Pilates, I would have to like give it up as soon as I couldn't lie on my back anymore. Um, so you'd get to about 16 weeks of pregnancy and be unable to do hardly any of the main uh, moves that you do. Um, so I found it um, a little bit less adaptable in that way. And uh, so for a start, accessibility is always key. We are all at different places in our journey and we also need different things. Uh, but the thing that I love about yoga, the thing that puts it over and above anything else, is that it is not just movement. It's not just exercise. Uh, it is good exercise and it is a good way to gently be able to move our bodies, but it's so much more than that. And with fibromyalgia, our central nervous systems are so involved and um, yoga gives us a way to manage that so the meditation the breathing uh, even just connecting our breath to our movements the gentle movement restorative yoga um, which is a type I particularly love they all help us to balance our central nervous system which is something we really need and that's going to help with pain fatigue sleep anxiety a lot of things um, and I've done a lot of research and shared a lot about the central nervous system and I can link a few um, posts below if you're curious to learn a little bit more about that and the central nervous system with fibromyalgia uh, and so yoga is just like multiple birds for one stone in saying that when it comes to exercise 
the best type of exercise for you is one you will do. So if you enjoy it, you're more likely to do it. So some people just prefer Pilates. Some people just prefer yoga. Some people just don't even know really what yoga is and haven't been introduced to a way they can do it. Uh, please check out my channel if that's you. I've got several types of yoga and many videos for you to give a go. You don't have to be able to get off the floor or on the floor. There's lots of different ways to do it. There's bed yoga, chair yoga. There is um, meditation, which is just as much yoga um, as anything else. Uh, and that goes to the heart of the benefit. You can do it for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. You can do it on your bed if you're doing um, some gentle stretching. But also, when I'm talking about giving yourselves 10 minutes a day to give it a go, some of that will be physical, but some of that is the breathing and the meditation as well. So yoga is like a whole thing, whereas Pilates is mostly just exercise. Uh, but when it comes to exercise and strengthening, they are both fantastic for strengthening. Um, I do feel like Pilates is a little less accessible. Uh, for example, for most of the traditional Pilates, you have to be able to get on the floor. And um, there's quite a few exercises that I just found were not adaptable. Like I said, during pregnancy, but also after pregnancy. Uh, and that's actually why I turned to yoga. So after about my second pregnancy, I thought, gosh, I have to keep giving it up and then starting again from scratch. Whereas yoga, I could take with me through most of my pregnancy. And um, even in the last two pregnancies with severe pelvis issues where I can't do that much and my, um, I wouldn't be able to do pretty much any of the um, Pilates moves that I know, um, I can still do a yoga practice and do it just a little bit of um, movement, which is really helpful. So let me know, do you prefer yoga or do you prefer Pilates? Uh, let me know in the comments what one you might think is better uh, and whatever you um, think about which one is better. If you give my um, some of my yoga videos a go, let me know how you find them. And if you want some encouragement in your journey, come and join the Yoga for Fibromyalgia with Melissa um, Facebook group where we get to chat a little bit in there uh, and also come and join the five minutes a day for five day free yoga for five margin challenge that is it exists to show you you can do yoga even if you can only do five minutes or so a day even if you're not doing what you traditionally think of as yoga um, it is just a great way to get started thanks for joining me and I'll catch you again soon